What's up, Giants fans, Hub watchers, uh, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers? It's your boy No Name back at it with another Giants talk episode. Messed up a little bit there on the uh, intro, but no worries. We back on it, guys. Back on some of the Giants talk. On today's topic, I want to kind of talk a little bit about our uh, quarterback position and the future of our quarterback position. This certainly isn't the first video I've done on this topic, certainly isn't going to be the last one. It's just a topic I wanted to address before the start of training camp because I certainly think that with training camp going on and afterwards it's going to have a lot of implications and a lot of effect on this position. So as we all know, Elon Manning, Giants legend, New York City icon, New York, New Jersey icon, all around legend in this area, and rightfully so, is approaching, you know, the end of his career, and the New York Giants sensing that, and also sensing that they're in a rebuilding mode, and they have a younger team, are on general, you know, realize that a 38-year-old quarterback whose uh, physical capabilities have declined is not the right way to go. Went out and got Daniel Jones, um, the next New York Giants quarterback, hopefully the next great New York Giants quarterback to be Eli's successor. Uh, here's the thing about Daniel Jones. <laughs> not a lot of people like them, even though they had no reason to, you know, to hate on him and whatnot. As far as we know, by looking at his tape, going off of teammates, coaches, and looking at what he's done during the OTAs and reports out of the Giants camp, he's a really good player, a really cerebral player. Pat Schirmer said he's a guy who picks up on things fast. He won't make the same mistake twice. You know, he's a quick study. Mike Shula, the offensive coordinator, even went as far to say one time he has the capability to start week one and whatnot. He surprised people with his arm strength he surprised people with the way he throws the football all around he surprised people one of the most surprising things was one of the most surprising thing was uh his athleticism which was seen a lot in college this guy could really move on his legs he throws fairly well on the run but he could make some big runs out there and he surprised a lot of people with that each and every day we saw daniel jones train with the Giants, every single report came out saying his teammates and the coaches are more impressed with each day than the last. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that just because they're impressed with him, oh, he is going to start week one, he is a NFL level starter quarterback, no it doesn't. It means that he's progressing at a good pace. This is good for us no matter what, it means that he's learning, he's picking up and everything, that eventually he's going to be ready, he's not just sitting there, he's not stagnated or anything like that. Because Pat Shermer actually put it best. It's Eli Manning's job to lose. So Eve, no matter how do good Daniel Jones does, it ultimately comes down to the man, the myth, the legend, Eli. It all comes down to how badly Eli does. You know, Eli could go in there, impress everybody, and no matter how good Daniel Jones does, the nod will go to Eli. And I think rightfully so, because of all of experience, because he's a Super Bowl winning quarterback and all that, right? Like, this all depends on Eli. Um, it's both Eli's job to lose and Daniel Jones' job to win. So, I think this training camp is going to reflect a lot on that. I don't expect Eli to lose his starting job at all. No, in fact, I both expect the starter week one to be Eli Manning and I want it to be Eli Manning because no matter how good D Jones is, I want him to sit a while. Preferably, I would love it if he could sit for a year just learn, you know, just soak up all the knowledge that he can through watching film, watching Eli play, watching defenses go against the Giants. I just want him to sit for a year. It does quarterbacks a lot of good. Best example, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, who sat for three years, and I don't want Jones to sit for three years. No, no, no. I think one year would be good enough. You know, like there's a lot of quarterbacks out there and it's a proven system. It just works for them. It helps them adjust to the NFL play faster because they've actually had a year to really look at it, to be under the coaching staff, be under the training staff, be with that team and adjust to a, the lifestyle and everything like that of being an NFL quarterback. So I would love for it if Jones could sit for a year, but I don't expect him to sit for a year. I mean, there's like three scenarios that I really got in my head about how this could go. 
like I said, training camp has a lot of effect on this. It could, the most likely one being um, Eli goes out there, has a good training camp. Jones goes out there, has a good training camp. Come week one, Eli is a starter. And then they could go three ways from there. We could either, for the first time in many years, start off quick, start off fast, have a good, you know, a good beginning to our season. I think it all hinges on like, say week four, if the Giants are 500 or above, they're definitely gonna keep Eli in there and he's probably gonna start for the rest of the season. But if they're not 500 above, there's gonna be a lot of push from both within the team because um, we've already seen that Mike Shula is a guy who thinks Jones can start and Pat Shermer has hinted every now and then that he would have no problem with Jones starting. So we're gonna have it from both the outside media and the fans and probably from within the team, a push for Jones to start. And I think the earliest that he would start would be like around week six or so. Like, um, like week four would be like the push pull week and then a couple more losses and he comes in in week six. I really think that's gonna be the earliest. Also week six, we're gonna be facing, my bad, not week six, I meant week five, my bad guys. Uh, week four will be the push pull, week uh, five would probably be the week where we see Daniel Jones comes in maybe halfway through the game or something and we're facing the Vikings week five. Week six would actually be a terrible time for him to come in and start, it's a prime time game against the Patriots. But so that's one way it could go. Another way it could go is that by the time week four comes around, and I, I don't know, I just have a feeling like, you know, a four game sample size would be a good sample size to take from, even though it is really small, it would probably be a good sample size to take from on whether or not, you know, the giant staff will say, hey, is it time to pull Eli out? But um, another way it could go is that by week four, we're definitely below 500 and he's like starting as soon as possible. And then the other one being, um. We're above 500 and we're just good. You know, they keep him in there and Eli is in there. He's in there for the rest of the year and Jones starts next year, you know? Like th those are like the three main scenarios that come to mind when we think about this situation. Either way, within the next 12 months, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be seeing Daniel Jones on the football field. If not for Eli's performance, just because the fans and the media will demand it so much that they just make it happen, you know? God forbid any injury to Eli Manning. I do not want it to come about that way. That'll probably be the worst way ever. God forbid any injury. But I'm I think we all know in the background of our minds that next year Eli Manning is not gonna be the quarterback of the Giants. And that kind of brings me to like the second half of my video. You guys see the quote up there that I have up there. This is from NJ.com in an interview with Eli Manning where he states I'm not rushing into retirement, and Peyton's not telling me to rush into it, obviously taking advice from Big Brother. I'm going to play as long as I think I can hang with these guys. That tells me is that even if Daniel Jones is our quarterback next year, Eli Manning will try to find a way to stay in the league and still play football. He might be quarterback for another team. And that kind of saddens me a bit, but at the same time, it makes me a bit happy because that means he's going out there this year. Everything he's doing this year is with a sense of, I'm gonna prove everybody wrong if he already didn't have that sense because of all the doubters that him and the Giants have. Now it's like something on top of that with people saying that he needs to retire, with people saying that he's done. Now he's going out there and he's giving it his 150% in training camp. Expectations for me from training camp, both Eli and DJ are going to have an amazing training camp. There's going to be moments where reporters are in awe from both of them. Yeah, we're going to see Jones improve a lot just because that's the type of mind he has. He is a David Cutcliffe guy, but so is Eli Manning. Like, let's, let's drag back a second here. Eli is the original David Cutcliffe guy. Well, I mean, technically Peyton is, but on this team, Eli is the original Cutcliffe guy. Eli is probably one of the smartest, if not the smartest quarterbacks in the league. He's gonna go out there playing with, with a vengeance, playing with a fire under him to try and prove everybody wrong. And no matter where, which way it goes, this all just bides to me. Like it all just signs just point to him having a good season, him having a great season even. Him going out there spreading the ball to everybody, to Shep to Ingram, to Tate, to Saquon, to Coleman, to Latimer. He's going out there shooting the ball everywhere. And because of that, we're gonna have a good season, a winning season. 
All signs just point to everything being good, barring injury. So for the immediate future, I, this video is kind of all over the place. Sorry about that, guys. But for the immediate future of the quarterback position, while it is uncertain, it's definitely the most uncertain out of any positions on the team, the immediate future is Eli Manning. The eventual future is Daniel Jones, as obvious as that would sound to anybody. But it could change in a snap like that. It could change in a millisecond, in a second. One week he could be starting, the next he can't. But I still think come week one, our starter will be Eli Manning. And I think that sometime during the year, we're going to see Daniel Jones, whether he's ready or not. And I don't think he's ready yet. I still think he needs to sit back and learn for at least a year. I believe that for all rookie quarterbacks, it could do nothing but good for them. I, I can't tell any way how it could harm them. It could do nothing but good for them. And even before I was on board with Daniel Jones, looking at him as just a prospect, just a regular prospect, I said, I said to myself, he's somebody that needs to sit a year and then he could come in. And that still stands true no matter how much he improved or how much he will improve. He still needs to sit, but I got a feeling we're going to see him, like, at least by week eight or something. Like I said, week four is going to be the telling week. Like, who are we facing then? We're facing Redskins. Perfect. <laughs> Maybe Dwayne Haskins will be starting then. But week four, if we come out of there and we're uh, anything less than two and two, expect to see Jones. That's all I got to say. What do you guys think? This is definitely uh, interesting yet weird topic for Giants fans right now because it's split down the middle but at the same time there's so many possibilities like Eli could start week one or Jones could start week one maybe he does something so incredible during training camp and preseason that everybody demands to see him week one and it happens who knows wouldn't be the most surprising thing to happen to us the past couple of years you know I mean Gettleman is known for lying through his teeth and this could be another one of his lies saying that Eli is the guy, but we're not paying him $23 million to be a backup. So that's another reason, therefore, for why I think he's going to start and probably be our quarterback for most of the season. But let me know what you all think. Leave your comments and thoughts down below. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out. You're...